ever felt like you're just another face in the crowd, invisible and disconnected? In our hyper-connected world, loneliness is an unexpected companion. But what if I told you that some of the greatest minds in history have pondered over this very feeling? Join me as we delve into the ancient wisdom of philosophers like Socrates and Epictetus to unravel the mystery of loneliness. Loneliness is a complex emotion. It's not just the absence of others. It's a deep sense of disconnection. It can hit us even when we're surrounded by people. The ancients understood this well. They saw loneliness not just as a state of being, but as a state of mind. Let's first understand this through the eyes of Socrates, who spent his life in crowded Athens, yet often talked about the soul's journey inwards. To grasp this, picture yourself in various social situations, maybe a party, at work, or even during family gatherings. Ever felt that pang of isolation amidst all the chatter? This isn't just physical distance, it's emotional. You're there, but not there. This is where our journey into ancient wisdom begins. Understanding loneliness from this lens helps us realize it's not about where we are or who we're with. It's about our inner connection to ourselves and the world around us. Socrates, with his sharp mind, challenged the Athenians to know themselves. He believed that self-knowledge was the key to meaningful connections. Picture him in the busy streets of Athens, asking probing questions. He encouraged people to look within and find their true selves. This introspection, he argued, was the antidote to loneliness. And it wasn't just about introspection. Socrates' approach was revolutionary in that he urged people to question societal norms and their own beliefs. He believed that by understanding our own values and desires, we could form deeper, more authentic relationships with others, reducing feelings of loneliness. Imagine challenging every assumption about yourself. That's what Socrates inspired in the hearts of Athenians. Now, enter Epictetus, a Stoic who faced life's hardships head on. He taught that our response to life's events, not the events themselves, shapes our experience. Imagine him advising his students to focus on their inner selves, to control what they can, their thoughts, their reactions. By doing this, he suggested one could find peace, even in solitude. Epictetus emphasized the importance of inner freedom and self-sufficiency. He believed that true contentment comes from within and is not dependent on external circumstances or relationships. This philosophy can be a powerful tool against loneliness as it teaches us to find joy and fulfillment in our own being rather than seeking it always from others. Picture living life where your peace isn't disturbed by the world's chaos. That's the tranquil power of Stoicism. How can we use these ancient teachings in the 21st century? It starts with self-reflection. In a world where external validation is often sought, turning inward can be revolutionary. Practicing mindfulness, journaling, or simply spending time in nature can be our modern-day Agora or Garden of Epictetus. In today's fast-paced world, these ancient philosophies remind us to slow down and connect with ourselves. Whether it's through meditation, deep conversations with friends, or engaging in activities that truly resonate with us, we can combat loneliness by cultivating a rich inner life. Imagine a world where each of us is in tune with our inner selves, creating a society that's connected, not just superficially, but on a profound, soulful level. Embracing solitude is not about shunning society. Instead, it's about finding strength in our own company. It's about enjoying a quiet moment, savoring a personal victory, or just being at peace with our thoughts. This doesn't eliminate loneliness, 
but transforms it into something enriching and life-affirming. Intrigued? There's so much more to explore in the realm of philosophy and self-growth. Subscribe and become part of our community, where we tackle life's big questions together. You're not just a viewer, you're a fellow traveler on this journey of understanding. Let's continue to explore, learn, and grow together. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more insights and discussions. Until next time, keep pondering, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep connecting with yourself.